In today's video, I want to talk about a couple things with the PS5 and the controller that you can be checking on like maybe like once a month, once every two months. So first, let's just focus on the actual console. So what you wanna do, and you can't always tell just from looking at it if it's dirty. What you wanna do is basically take it, pop it off. I've done a video on how to pop the side plates off, but <clears throat> pop it off. And you want to look inside. And as you can see, this looks kind of bad. So if you do this once every couple months, you should be able to have like a handle on things and if you like you know clean it out it, so hopefully it doesn't get too dirty because if it does get really really dirty and you have to really take it down like all the way down apart it can be a lot more tedious to do and the risk of breaking the ps5 goes astronomically higher so it's if you just check it once every month or two um for your console and then clean it as needed. Hopefully it won't get built up. Now let's go ahead and go over to the controller. Okay, my friends, so onto the controller. Something that you should do every um, once or twice, uh, every two months, and maybe even more sometimes, is you want to look at your controller, and you can see I have four controllers here. So what happens is it's really easy to get a buildup of grime on here. So you may want to come in and periodically, I actually have some rubbing alcohol right here. Now it's important to not put on too much. I have a, ba a baby wipe. You also might want to use a microfiber cloth and just pour a little bit on here. And you can just be careful not to do too much so that it goes like and penetrates the controller. But you can just kind of wipe your controller. And you can actually do this even more because alcohol can like kill germs. And especially if there's been like a lot of people playing the PS5 controller, like multiple people, and you're just not really comfortable with sharing everyone's germs. You can just go ahead and just kind of, just not too much so that it penetrates down inside. You don't want to have it like too wet. But you can just kind of go ahead and rub it down and just get it all clean. Now also, this is not always good enough because dirt can get all up in the groove. So you might want to take a toothpick or something like that. And let me get this right. You might want to take a toothpick or something and just kind of come in and clean right here. Just like do something like this to get any like grooves, just like so, okay? Like so. And I've done a video on how to take apart a PS5 controller and you can kind of go in all around and look you know, for the grooves. So if you do these things periodically, it should really help your console and your controller controllers to last a lot longer. So thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are there anything that you would like me, is there anything you would like me to cover about PS5, PS5 controllers or anything? Let me know in the comments. Love y'all and bye.